good natural. What are you saying? What are y'all saying right now? Cause I can't hear you. Cause this this beat right here. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Carmi B and welcome back to Carmi B TV. If you want to see how I achieve my everyday natural makeup glam look, keep watching. I start with my eyebrows. So I like to use the NYX. Can y'all see this? Alrighty. I like to use the NYX brow pencil in the color Espresso. So let's get to it and what i really love about the pencils on the other side it has a little brush on there so you can get those hairs going i like to go under my eyebrows just to ensure that i have a perfect finish and i brush up brush up I create a line, not too harsh, ladies. A line underneath. And then I literally go up with my natural brow strokes with the pencil. Excuse me. So now that we got the brows going, I am going to go in with my NARS concealer. It's Radiant Creamy Concealer. Y'all, this is my holy grail, okay? I love me some NARS. I am in the color medium to dark walnut. I don't know if it'll focus in on that, okay? So what I like to do is take an angle brush. I got this brush from the beauty supply store, y'all. Um, and y'all will notice that I don't really use a lot of products. So these are all things that y'all can get at your local drugstore, Sephora, Ulta, any of those places. So I'm going in, I put it on this, this brush, and going in under that brow. This is one of the most important parts because you want to make sure that you are shaping your brow to your natural arch, right? And you, this is also what will give your brow like that, that type of arch, okay? so. All right, I'll get quiet. And I always keep a napkin at my station when I'm doing my makeup because I need to be able to watch, wipe off the excess as I'm going. So I don't need a whole lot of product on the brush on this part right here. So what I do is I take what I just put right under there and I just blend it down. I just blend it down. So you kind of want to get this going kind of quick before the before the concealer sets. Y'all see that? So I do that under the bottom, and then I take a flat brush, and I just kind of blend that in. Like that, like so. Do the same thing on the top. So 
now that we have the brows done, what I like to do is take that same NARS concealer and coat my lids. So I'm coating my lids so that the highlights under my brows and all of that match, it's equal, okay? And I have dark eyes, um, so this step is like paramount for me. And I know that it's a done with that this is all eye work all of this was just the eyes we're gonna take the Laura Mercy a setting powder Laura Mercy a setting powder powder in the color translucent and what I like to do is go in I just purchased a beauty blender I'm not sure I don't have it available right here in front of me but I'm gonna use this one and I just coat that's what I'm doing I'm just coating I probably I look so crazy right now. I know that. So after I'm done with that, I take a little brush and I just let's talk that. So y'all see that? Good old coated. So what I like to do personally, this is just me. The color that I use for my bronzer, I like to use that on my lids. So this is Anastasia, 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 however you may pronounce it. Beverly Hills. I can't think of what color, this, oh, this is in mahogany. This is the color mahogany. So y'all see, I love this, it's my holy grail. Take that color around this brush and I just, Take it across my lid. So let's let's let y'all let me let y'all know something. I'm not big on eyeshadow. I'm not an eyeshadow girl. I don't really, I don't dwell in the eyeshadow lane. Y'all know me, brows, skin, foundation. That's that's where I'm at. So it's not really important to me how well or how you know this really looks. It's more so about giving my eyes definition so they don't look so washed out with that translucent powder and that um, those NAR, that NARS concealer, okay? Now I'm gonna go in with some mascara and coat my lashes. Some people, okay, so I did my lashes off camera. Y'all see how quick a lash can just get you together? What I'm gonna do is go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Yep, that's what I'm going in with. So I'm gonna do that over my face. I personally like to do from this point is go under my under eye with my Juvia's Place. Um, one second. I like to go under my under eye with Juvia's Place. Concealer. What color is this? This is in the color number 12. So I like to go under my under eyes. Like I told y'all, I have darker eyes. So it's important for me to get that, that lifted finish look. So I go under first. Under. Mm -hmm. Just in the dark spots, okay? And then I do like to damp my brush with the Mario Tedeschi spray, only a little, because I only have a little left. So yeah.
I'm gonna go in with my NARS, my Holy Grail. I am in the color Makao, M-A-C. A-O. And then I'm going in with the number 70 brush for, from Sephora. Number 70. After that, what I like to do is go back with the Juvie's Place Concealer under my eye. So I like to go back in with that same NARS concealer I use for my brows, and I like to do that on top of the Juvia Clay. But I only use this right under my eye. So what I like to do is go in with my foundation brush and just like, you know, blend, help blend more. So then what I do is I take this stick from Huda Beauty and it is in the color Ganche 560R. Can't really pronounce it. It may not show you. Anyway. That's the color, I'll link it below. So I like to go in, and I just got into the contouring, y'all, so this is not something I've always done. So, just know that. I take a flat brush, and I blend. back in with the Laura Mercier setting powder and set where I highlight it. So set those creams under my eye. Fit 
Get Me Powder that's closer to the under eye highlight. And I'm going to coat the lids, I mean the under eye, with this powder. So this is not the brush I'm supposed to be using. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I was gonna tell you guys. What I like to do to bring color back to my entire face is go back with this bronzer, which is why you see that it's used often. I go all over my face with this bronzer. So I don't take much, but I bring color back to me. I use it almost as like a face powder. So I go over my face With it, y'all, we are almost done. You hear me? You hear me? I like to go under my eyelash, my bottom lash line, with a brown eyeshadow. And this is in the Jaclyn Hill palette. As y'all can see, I use this often. You know? So, I go under there. What I really could do is mix that with that same bronzer that I put on my, eye, on my eyes, my eyelids, so that it's consistent. So you guys may notice that I'm overlining. I overline my lips. So that little shadow right there, I go right in there. Overline my lips. I like that look. This Juvia's Place highlighter, Juvia's Place. I'm gonna go in. And let's get this highlight on, baby. Thank you, my cousin Michaela. I know you're watching. She got this for me, y'all. is the final look uh no I'm kidding that is the final look oh my gosh I'm not gonna tell no story to y'all I got a call and so the stopwatch stopped but this is my everyday glam 15 to 20 minute look and I use let's recap on how many products I use okay so I use this eyeshadow from under, from under my eye. I use my NARS foundation. I use the Juvia's Place highlighter. I use the MAC blush. I use the Laura Mercier setting powder. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. I use the Fit Me face uh, powder. I use this, um, the mineral powder. I use this stick by Huda Beauty. I use the NARS for under my eye concealer and then my brushes. So one last touch that I forgot, and I only forgot because this is not something that I always do, but for the sake of giving y'all that, that finished look, I'm gonna go in with that mineral powder and just go down the bridge of my nose. Just to, you know. Just for y'all. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. If you like content like this, subscribe, comment, like. Tell me what you like about this video, some things that you want me to do different. Y'all know I'm, I'm getting in the swing of YouTube. But people on my Instagram, it's highly asked for me to do my everyday makeup look, which I wanted it to be in a condensed video. So I'll listen to y'all. Hopefully this was short enough for you guys. Hopefully it was easy enough for you guys to follow along. But period pool, the girls is, ah, we there, we there. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the next video.